Amateur Radio Service, Element 2 Technician Class Question Pool. These questions are valid July 1st, 2014 to June 30th, 2018. This video will be covering questions T1A01 through T1A04. Question T1A01. Which of the following is a purpose of the Amateur Radio Service as stated in the FCC Rules and Regulations? A. Providing personal radio communications for as many citizens as possible. B. Providing communications for the international nonprofit organizations. C. Advancing skills in the technical and communication phases of the radio art. And D. All of these choices are correct. Let's examine. First, we look at the Electronic Code of Federal Regulations, specifically Title 47, Telecommunications, and Part 97. We see Part 97 is broken down into several subparts. Subpart A, General Provisions. Subpart B, Station Operation Standards. Subpart C, Special Operations. Subpart D, Technical Standards. Subpart E, Providing Emergency Communications, and Subpart F, Qualifying Examination Systems. We're going to be looking at Subpart A, General Provisions, specifically Basis and Purpose, because the questions specifically ask, the following is a purpose. So if we look at Basis and Purpose, which is 97.1, we can see that C is encouragement and improvement of the amateur radio service through rules which provide for advancing skills in both the communication and technical phases of the art. This would make our question have the answer of C, advancing skills in the technical and communication phases of the art. Let's proceed to question T1A02. Which agency regulates and enforces the rules of the amateur radio service in the United States? The answers are A, FEMA, B, the ITU, C is the FCC, D is Homeland Security, so let's refer back to the Code of Federal Regulations, Telecommunications, Title 47, and we see Chapter 1 is about the federal communications. So that's going to make the question answer the FCC. Which part of the FCC regulations contain the rules governing the amateur radio service? Answers are A, Part 73, B, Part 95, C, Part 90, D, Part 97. And again, we return to the Electronic Code of Regulations, and we see that it is Part 97 Amateur Radio Service, which makes the answer to this question D, Part 97. Moving to T1A04. Which of the following meets the FCC definition of harmful interference? Answers are A, radio transmissions that annoy users of a repeater. B, unwanted radio transmissions that cause costly harm to radio station apparatus. C, that which seriously degrades, obstructs, or repeatedly interrupts a radio communication service operating in accordance with the radio regulations. Or D, static from a lightning storm. Now here we're referring to Part 97.3A23, which is definitions. So we specifically look up 23, which is harmful interference. Interference which endangers the functioning of the radio navigation service 
or of other safety services or seriously degrades, obstructs, or repeatedly interrupts a radio communication service operating in accordance with radio regulations. Which means our answer to this question will be C, that which seriously degrades, obstructs, or repeatedly interrupts a radio communication service operating in accordance with radio regulations. References used in this video are the U.S. Government Printing Office at http colon slash slash www.ecfr.gov.